Ugh. Horrible weather. Um, right, I wasn't going to film this today, but in my head I thought, well, it might be interesting and also be a good chance to test out the new Osmo 3. Um, so what I'm doing is basically just finishing these LXR off. Uh, it's just about to spit for rain, so let's get in the garage and I'll tell you a bit more. So, as I said, finishing the ZXR off, got the brake pads now, took almost a week to turn up, which, um, yeah, it's not great. But um, I have lubed everything up. I haven't taken any brake pads out of it whatsoever. Uh, it's just been left in the state it was in after the last video. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take the old brake pads out, give them a good clean up, uh, the calipers that is, put the new pads in and then put it all back together. Nothing thrilling, nothing too exciting, but um, yeah, somebody might find it useful. So one thing I didn't mention, I've got the mic on uh, that comes with the Creator Combo, and these are the pads. So they are gold scented, something or other, blah, blah, blah. Um, only street, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, uh, MFP or MPS or whoever they are, they're very finest. So they're scented metals, used them before, um, seem to work okay. I'm no speed demon, so um, yeah, as long as they stop me, jobs are good. Un. So, phase one, uh, remove the silver plate on the top there. Um, Allen screws hold that in, one on each side, and there's a pin under there with a split pin in it to uh, literally remove the pins that hold the brake pads in place. Let's do it. So, there you go, cover, plate, whatever you want to call it, taken off. That's what we're aiming for next. There's a little split pin just there. And then when that split pin's released, you can move that pin out and the brake pads just literally drop straight out. There you go, so split pin's out. Um, I can't really show you me taking that pin out <laughs> because two hands are required. But that's the way it works anyway. Split pin out and then that pin just goes out to your right or the inside of the brake pad. No, outside the brake pad, that's it. And there you go, everything removed. Um, yeah, they weren't weren't terrible, but um, yeah, like I said, while I'm in there, why not just get them changed? They've got a bit of wear on them, and I think they were well, they're a good year old, probably even two, to be honest. Anyway, new ones going in. Um, first thing is I'm going to check that all the sliders are nice and loose. Uh, you've got three pots in there each side. So just gonna make sure that they retract okay, they're not stuck or anything uh, like that. And just gonna give it a bit of a general clean up as well, just to make sure that uh, we're good for a few thousand miles. There you go, push the pots back and then push the brake lever a couple of times to eject them and then push them back in again. All seem nice and free, don't see any problems with those at all. And also give it a little bit of a clean up. So uh, I think we're good. And there we go, pin back in, split pin back in, just there. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, obviously just make sure that the brake calipers sit in there and they've got free movement, they're not stuck or anything crazy like that. But that is pretty much it. So I'm just gonna bolt it back on again and um, that's this side done. And there's my magic back in place again. There you go, just two bolts hold it in. Um, so yeah, not a particularly difficult job. Um, one little clip just there as well, which I put back in again, but that is this side brake caliper done. Um, won't pump the brakes yet because I've got the other side to do. And obviously if I pump it, I've got the danger of, well, pressing a piston out basically. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to change the brake pads in this side and then I'm going to bolt it back in and then give the brakes a bit of a pump up, make sure everything feels good. And uh, then it's just a test ride, and that will probably be it. Got the belly pan to put back on, um, and then it's MOT, and back on the road again, hopefully. So, um, yeah, hopefully this quick little video has been of use. Um, if not, then, uh, well, thanks for watching anyway. Right, let's get on with it, because I'm losing light, I'm losing time. Catch you later, Internet. Bye-bye for now.